Look in your eyes. You found something? Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. Oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all, and Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. His escape route is already flooded, so we'll have to task someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremenay would be up to the task. Bingo! Is he around? He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. It's the least I can do. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremenet while we're at it, too. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So, you are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. You've mentioned several sketchy-looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier, so it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. Ah, uh, my apologies. I just started rambling out of habit. <sighs> it was almost as if I was talking to my younger sister. But that's not a bad thing, right? All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Let's go our separate ways for now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. inside. to 
understand them from here. So, why don't we just try to talk to them in person? Let's go as soon as you're ready. Are you okay? Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do. Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poison? Let me take a look. Please lie down over here. Don't worry, I'll get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. <gasps> you can do it, Traveler! Don't apologize, you're sick after all. Now, please relax, I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. Checkup has confirmed that she's not in any mortal danger. <gasps> that's our worst fear out of the way. Eh? Oh, that's good. But... I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please, relax and take a deep breath. <sighs> Don't sense serious damage to your organs, either. Does it hurt when I press here? Initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. Mm, what about here? Does this hurt? Oh, hmm, I understand. So that's what it is. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. Congratulations! The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Miss Lorvine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. <sighs> and she hopped away just like that. Hello, so how are you feeling now? Stomach aches really bad. She was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. If Miss Sijuin says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. But it also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. Ah, uh, well, that's true. What do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sishuin take care of the sick and injured. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? Aren't you a patient too? Where did all your energy come from? Uh... Ah, huh, that's correct. 
<clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Siegeween prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her... <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Siegeween's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages ago. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Hey, don't start arguing now! Please, keep it civil at least! Someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things like this. <laughs> but <laughs> release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives. Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. And same to you, Miss Lorvine. Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. See you later, everyone. He just slowly walked off? Like that? Hmph. <laughs> That's just what he's like. I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I'm Lorvine, and that's... Well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. You really can't stand him, huh? I mean, can you blame me? Who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? <clears throat> but there's no need to keep dwelling on him. I... I'll accompany you two for a while. Miss Sishween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. No, no. It's nothing. I'm back! Did you rest like you promised? Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Sishween. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Here. This should be two days' worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Ah, uh, Miss Lorvine, I left in a bit of a hurry just now. Do you still remember if we discussed the color of the pill that you should be taking today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Yellow, huh? I understand. These are yours. Please, make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. All right, then I'll also be on my way now. I hope you feel better soon, too. See ya! I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're widely known as the Traveler, right? I just want to double-check a few details, if that's all right with you. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the Traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead! Mm-hmm. So her primary symptoms are abdominal pain, with secondary symptoms of nausea. Is there anything else? Hmm... That's it! All right, then. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? No. 
though, her face constitution is quite good. So, I'm sure she'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods. And don't stay up too late at night. Got it! Paimon will hold the traveler to that for sure! Oh, you're going to take a nap already? Okay then, you get some rest. But we never left! Well, now you can go back without a worry in the world. Remember to take your meds regularly. And remember, bland foods! Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Sijuin! You really are something. To be able to fall asleep like that and even sleep talk the entire time, you scared Paimon half to death! No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of... Pyron, go take my grilled fish and put down the Adeptus Temptation now! Paimon talked with Sijuin the entire time you were asleep. She seems like she's just a sincere nurse and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. Hmm, that's good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infirmary. We've taken a look at the slip you've sent. Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago. And as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremenay's help, you've already done more than enough. Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a one-off investigation. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. Lynette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. So that's what Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Hmm, perhaps that's true. You are both very good people, and we've come to appreciate that more than anyone else. Unfortunately, there's still one thing that could get between us, lest you've forgotten. The matter of our respective loyalties. 
You've mentioned before that you've had some run-ins with the Fatui. I can understand that feeling. So I assume you're just helping us out of the kindness of your hearts? Well, everyone could use some more friends. We'll be counting on you to help us in the future, too. Mm-hmm. Since I see you as friends, then it's even more important for us to protect you from any peril. Fremenet and Lynette feel the same way. Glad to hear it. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenet returns. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Is now really a good time to go over? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette knows this as well, so this should be a good time to meet up with her. Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. Okay, then let's head over right away! Lynette should be here right now. Huh. Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to let me know. Unless... Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Who knows? Maybe she'll be back soon. Okay. some books here and a few files. They all look like medical records. Hmm. Advanced nursing, how to raise the spirit of your patients, a quick guide to the psychology of emotions, and the meaning of laughter. These sure are some interesting books. Who knew Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things? She even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Hmm. Is it because she's a melazine? Or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional state? Hmm... Seems quite normal to me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in... ...except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be sick! Mm-hmm. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare-up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. Which means, either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or... The nurse intentionally left it this way. <sighs> ah! This is it! We saw it before! Wait, this thing? It doesn't look like it's been disguised that well. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm. Let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic, just... Take another look. Hey, 
Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it, too. It reads, Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. This is... Is... is that all? The back! Ah, this... this is... Show me! Now! <sighs> that, that look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now! Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be right now? No! Could she have... Is she already... Risley... Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? Wait, you mean... He was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? But... Why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since! Yes. That is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervulet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? <laughs> Don't panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation's different now. <laughs> Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means... The fact that Fremine was able to leave the grounds, could Risley have let him go as well? But what does he gain by letting Fremine leave like that? <sighs> so he's challenging me and trying to provoke me, I'm sure of it. <sighs> We never should have sent out Fremine. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. Lenny's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. Don't be like this, Lenny. Fremine wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. I'll go talk to Risley. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please talk some sense into him! I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back! He's rushed out the door! I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. Huh? Is someone? Pack everything up. Whoever's outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. Someone! Please help! She... she's there! Whoa! Are you okay? Ah, these two. As expected, if 
we've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but I also like playing dumb. <laughs> I like the feeling of being trusted. Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Wait! Wait! It's no use, we have to catch up to him! 